Welcome back to Ice Physics, the movie starring Ice Physics as Ice Physics and Mario as Luigi. Also starring Mario as Princess Peach and Starman as Luigi. Yes, there are two Luigis. That's just how we roll. But, wait, what? I'm going to rewind, because that, I think that messed up. Because what I think happens is, if you start one vine while another one is growing, they stop, because that's what it looked like. It looks like this is the right vine. Whee! It's more spinny death. And it's more folly death. I haven't seen that for a couple of minutes. Gimme. Mushroom! There's a lot of spinny death in this... well, in this hack in general, but... I suppose it's slightly better than chompers everywhere. Or whatever those... What are the... What are these... Oh! That we have to... No? I don't get it. Oh, and you can't jump off the vine. So how do I get over there? Oh, there's a thingy. A thingy, a bobber. A vine. But I can't jump, so how do I get to that? Just say jump? I guess I don't jump. I think that is possible, but... It's pretty tricky timing, so I'm not sure if it's what you're supposed to do. I figured there'd be a vine here. Can I hit this? Probably, apparently not. Oh, that's how you... That's how you fall. That's how you get over to that... Did I just seriously load like that? Or save like that? Yeah, I did. That's just how ice physics rolls. It doesn't care that you wanted to make that jump. In fact, it does care that you wanted to make that jump, and that's why it makes you not make that jump. And that spiny just owned the, both of those Koopas. I like that spiny. That spiny is a cool dude. And we got a Koopa shell. Smite your brother in with your... self, I guess. Gimme. I could use a mushroom or something. What the hell? What? The hell? He turned into a mushroom and then... A magical glitch device. Ouch. Yeah, I did not plan that by the way. He just turned in- he just turned into a mushroom. For no apparent- Oh, I guess I know why. Probably because... This thing has a different tile. It probably changes into the tile that Boom Boom turns into when he dies. If that makes any sense. If it doesn't, just ignore me. I'm rambling sort of like I know how the game works, but I don't. I haven't actually done any hacking or anything, so I don't actually know anything in particular. I just know how tile-based games generally work. Ow. I know how booze eating my face works. I do not care for it. What? Ow. I know these booze are actually slightly dangerous when they can be actually invisible instead of just Boo, I'm scared because you're looking at me. But stop being there. We leave this... I guess this isn't an airship, it's a underwater ship. It's a ship that's actually full of water. I'm not quite sure what that would be. It's a sunken ship, I guess. 
And there are lots of boos here. And one cheap cheap. And of course, there is always death. There was never not death. Who are we kidding? Oop, pipe. Alright, we're not done yet, are we? Nope. Oh, and I bet I'm gonna have to throw a block at that thingy, or a Koopa shell. What? I bet I'm gonna have to die a couple of times for no reason. P-switch. I bet this is gonna be a puzzle. There's another P-switch. There's P-switches everywhere. That's not a good sign. And what is in the door? Is this a reset door? Yeah, I think it is. I think the color changed though, wasn't it green before? I don't really care though. Whoa, hey Thwompy. Hey other Thwompy. You know, you guys aren't very dangerous when there are blocks that stop me before I go under you. Oh, crap. Okay, I bet we have to bring this back to the start. But will this last long enough? Because don't... Maybe I'm thinking of those blocks in Super Mario World, but I thought these like disappeared if you hold them too long. But we'll see. Ow. And we'll hit a boo. Hey, no. You don't take my thing. You don't take my freaking block. No one ever takes my block. Nothing gives you that right. Nothing gives you that right either, Mr. Piranha Plant, that I hate. Mr. Piranha Plant, you are a jerk face. Are we at the start? Yep, we are. Finally. Okay, let's be quick, but not die. That's generally good in video games. Generally. Wait, what? Those aren't supposed to come up if you're on the pipe, are they? I suppose it's a hack though, so maybe he changed it. This is a really well made hack. This is actually probably the fullest Mario hack I've ever seen. At least Mario, definitely Mario 3. It's pretty much its own game, but it's still Mario, so it's not quite. And the enemies are the same, they're... But I know that's a lot harder to change than most of the stuff. Come on, wear off. There we go. It reappeared in the wall. Hey, Wendy. I remember your name, because you're the only female one. Which is pretty common in... Oops. Pretty common in video games, honestly. I keep... I really want to jump into those stupid circus rings. Like Mario really does, because Mario likes to die. Wait, since she has like seven hits now, is she going to shoot seven of these? She better not, or I'm going to like kill her face. I'm going to kill her face anyway, but I'll kill even more of her face. Okay, she tries to shoot another one, but she can't. Oh, getting on those things is probably a good strategy. There we go. Give me that wand. And we'll actually end the video right after ending the world for once. Not randomly in the middle of a level or anything. Hey, Kingy. Oh, it's Mario. It's Mario's dad or something. There's another hidden key. I guess there must be one in each world. Okay. Oh, right. She gives us those flute thingies. Huh? Doesn't let me use it. Well, tune in next time for World 4.